The first avocados of the season are beginning to hit supermarket shelves, while the first exports are departing our shores for Australia. Avocado yep. Industry Council Chief Executive Jen Schooler says the 2011-12 season is promising to be a great one, with near record volumes as well as high quality fruit. New Zealand consumption with 4 million consumers, we can probably get 1.5 to 1.8 million trays um, on the local market out of 5.8 in total. 75% of New Zealand's exported avocados head to Australia, but the industry is working hard to grow our market share elsewhere. We've got a vision of 12 million trays by 2015-16 yep. um, versus 5.8 this year versus 3.1 last year. So we're looking at huge growth. But there are several major hurdles facing the avocado industry, ones which the Avocado Council is trying to overcome. For one, the sector is trying to increase the average yield from 5 tonnes per hectare to closer to 10. And secondly, avocados naturally produce a fantastic crop one year and a bummer the next. Bay of Plenty avocado grower Terry Ritter says biennial fruiting is a problem growers have to live with. We've only had two years that have been um, no crop at all. We have market gardened here on, in the past to supplement the income but now we rely all on these avocados. But we put a bit more work into them because that's our major income so we need them to crop every year. But you can, no matter how smart you are at it, it'll just turn around and give you no crop one year. So <laughs> You never claim yourself an expert in this game. <laughs> The Avocado Council is conducting five-year trials to try and develop a best practice model for growers. But biennial fruiting is a major issue. So one year we have a very good crop, the next year not so good. Makes it really difficult to actually have a market programme and, and develop new markets. Not only do Aussies get our best avos, their supply chain treats them a lot better too. And that's something the Avocado Council is trying to change. I went to the markets um, in Australia a couple of months ago and watching, we went to 13 different retailers over a couple of days and watching the consumers, the consumers came in, they picked an avocado, they didn't squeeze it, they didn't have a look around, they knew what to expect, they were expecting an avocado to eat today or tomorrow, they picked it up, they put it in their shopping trolley and they went off. If you watch a consumer in a New Zealand supermarket, they'll be, they'll be standing around, they'll be squeezing and prodding and then they mightn't even buy. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.